that much. Let's cross over and say a quick hello to the man himself, live from LA, it's Piers Morgan! <laughs> Now, Piers, would it, would it be fair to say, Piers, that you and Simon, uh, you're a little competitive with each other. You're always trying to get one over on each other, right? Yes, it would be fair to say we are very competitive, yes. And that's why Simon was so keen to get involved. So, a few <laughs> weeks ago, Simon rang up Piers and invited him over to his office for a nice cup of tea and a catch-up. Here you go, Simon, you're going to enjoy this. Here's what happened. <laughs> To TV personality and international TV host, Piers Morgan is an expert at uncovering the truth. You've never loved anything, attorney? No. So trying to pull the wool over his eyes could be our toughest challenge yet. To help us, we've roped in one of the few people Piers is unlikely to suspect. His old pal, Simon Cow. Simon has given us unprecedented access to his private office. They are trapped by hiding eyes and ears in every corner of the room. Shortly, Piers will be arriving to meet Simon for a showbiz powwow. At least, that's what he thinks. But what he doesn't know is that Simon is going to involve him in the possible purchase of a groundbreaking piece of art. To make this happen, we're going to need one Eastern European art dealer. That'll be me. And a gallery security guard who's been entrusted with an overpriced piece of minimalist artwork. Oh, that'll be me. Shall we do it? That's it. Right. <laughs> the ex-Russian art dealer is starting to look the part, but can he and Simon fool Piers in the thing and they're about to embark on a genuine art deal? Now, do you know any art speak? No. But I could make up just some pretentious nonsense. That'll do. Great. To believe it, there needs to be a convincing masterpiece for sale. Enter and scullery security guard with this. Black dot on white canvas. I'm ready to speak to Simon via satellite link up all the way over in Moscow. Actually, the room next door is deck. So with our characters in place... And Simon patiently waiting the arrival of our unsuspecting victim... It's time to go undercover. Yeah, great. Are you ready? Yeah. He is coming. Where is he? So I, I got downstairs and this guy goes, what's your name? <laughs> I told him to. <laughs> How are you? There was a woman next to she went, oh, does, does that still happen? Have we put on a little bit of weight? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been working. Hmm? Like that. No exercise. <laughs> I just realised it's been... I know, I was so glad because it's actually my day off today. Cheers, by the way. Yeah, cheers. Good nice to see you, see you darling. Thank you. It's it's too long. Long. It has been too long. Sorry to interrupt you, but I've got him on the line. I think we're going to go on second half. I know something. As Simon steps out momentarily, Piers notices the rather strange looking painting propped up in the corner of the office. If this idiot calls, I don't want to talk to him for longer than three minutes. <laughs> Everything goes wrong yeah. on that particular day. Yeah. Uh, you know, you meet these art dealers when you go out. Yeah. They've lent me that. How much do you think that is? Jesus. Guess. Well, it's obviously a lot of money. I have no idea. Oh, mm. Five hundred thousand. Right. I mean, it's, money. it's ridiculous. I mean, you and I look at that. I, mean, I wouldn't have known from hundred grand to ten million. Yeah, well, this time apparently he was like the Serbian or Banksy or right. something. Yeah, and I'll definitely do it. It's probably worth a couple of million. It could be worth, as you say, two, two and a half. Sorry to interrupt. Can I bring the computer in? Yeah, 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 just do it, yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Hello? Yeah. Simon? Hello, can, can you hear me? <laughs> Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Nice to see you. How are you? Very busy man. Yeah, I'm always very busy. Um, I, I do like the painting. Great. Uh, how negotiable is the price? The price is the price. It's, it's a very good price for you. These, these, these works were never intended for sale. Because they are museum standard contemporary art. You have to. I like it. I mean, I've lived with it. Um... Let me explain to you, Simon. This painting signifies the impermanence of life and the inevitability of death and how it is beyond anybody's control, even, even yours, Simon. Where would you see the value of this painting in, say, five years' time? 
ten times what you pay. So you're saying in five or ten years' time this could be worth five million pounds? I am sure of that. Huge exclusive piece for you. Would you like to keep it for a few more days? No, no. I'm nervous about sitting, keeping it in the office. What if we were to say we take 10% off the asking price? I, I, I'm sure we can look at that. No, no, I don't want to look at it. I want to agree on it. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Great to meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Did you believe a word of that? Well, maybe. The, the thing is, it's not the point, is that you look at it. We look at that, we see white. <laughs> Did you just pay me the last one to be for? No, 450. <laughs> <laughs> you never seem to say yes. <laughs> it was great. Hang on. Girls. How long is Amelia going to be here for? She's literally just about to leave because she's got two minutes. With Piers left alone once again, how will he react when Simon's new prized possession drops in value? has reached the gallery security guard. That's Ant, who comes in to inspect the damage. You get this? No. You pay. You pay, I call please. I call please. <laughs> He's gonna call the police. <laughs> With the artwork and Piers' nerves and tatters, it's time to come clean. Police on way. Stay there, please. What have you done to my painting? <laughs> <laughs> the police are coming, you're not getting arrested. Well, you are on that index Saturday night takeaway. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Simon, I literally, I don't think I've ever seen you smile so much or enjoy so much. Oh, God, just watching him pretending he knew about our, yeah, you know, it's worth £3 million. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a black dot on a piece of white paper. <laughs> the art expert. <laughs> oh, Piers, are you, uh, are you plotting revenge on us now? Well, the reason I fell for it, the, re the reason I fell for it was that Simon has got, as you know, very many paintings just like that in his mansion. <laughs> So it seemed perfectly plausible to me. <laughs> well, he did get, and he's very good, isn't he, Pierce? How good was Simon? He was very good, and you guys, I thought going for a disguise where you both looked a lot better looking and younger was really smart. <laughs> now, Pierce, even after you've said that, we know it's your birthday today, so we've got your birthday cake. Bring it in, bring it in, this birthday cake is called Black oh, it's White a... Icing. <laughs> <laughs> It's my favourite! <laughs> Give a big hand, Piers Morgan, everybody! Thanks, guys. Really enjoyed it. Lovely birthday present. Happy birthday. Oh, we had so much fun filming that. Simon, who's next on our hit list? Who should we do, the three of us? I think we need another dinner in LA and let's cook something up together. Yes. I've got someone in mind. You do? Yeah. I can't wait yes. to hear more about it. Let's hear it one more time for the brilliant Mr. Simon Cowell, everybody! Yes.